I'm Vipula and as part of the seminar class, I'll be presenting my research project, HILT, Hallucination Elicitation Through Automatic Detection. With the rapid advancements in the field of generative AI, especially with ChatGPT and GPT-4, the problem of hallucination in such lang large language models is one of the major challenges. So what is hallucination? According to Wikipedia definition, in AI, a hallucination or artificial hallucination is a confident response by an AI that does not seem to be justified by its training data. In simple words, in this figure, um, the prompt is given saying that summarize this New York Times article to chat GPT and it summarizes a non-existing article. This is one example of hallucination. Moving forward, why do the language models hallucinate? One of the likely reasons is the way language is generated, as in the words are predicted. One of the algorithms used is beam search. So there is greedy search and there is beam search. In greedy search, for instance, in this figure, we have different probabilities for different tokens, like 0.5 for A, 0.4 for C. In greedy search, all it looks at is just the highest probability and it moves forward and so on. But in beam search, we can have selective probabilities, as in we can have a beam width of size k. So if it is 2, then in this case, we'll select top two words with the high probabilities. And then we'll have the next top two words for those corresponding sequences, and so on. And we'll select the one with the highest joint probability. So here we have A and C if the beam width is 2 as 0.5 and 0.4 probabilities then we go to A and C then we have for A we have AB and AE for C there is nothing for AB then we have two different uh, possibilities and then AED is the one with the highest probability. Um, so this is one way to generate the language tokens. So what we do in this work is uh, we propose HILT benchmark and for that uh, we collect different tweets from New York Times. Right now we have 400, 400k tweets and the AI generated tweets is as of now, the count is approximately 1,000 tweets. And we have used uh, GPT-3, Text DaVinci uh, 003 model. And we have used uh, the hypergated GPUs provided by University of Florida for this setup. We have three student interns to annotate the AI-generated text, and right now, the total count is approximately 500. We follow these annotation guidelines where we say we define the categories of hallucination as intrinsic and extrinsic, which I'll talk uh, in the next slides. So we have three annotation uh, types, one, two, and three, as in no hallucination, intrinsic, and extrinsic hallucination. So the way we define intrinsic hallucination is if the generated output from the language model, if it deviates from the provided input prompt and has a lack of grounding, then we call it as intrinsic hallucination. And extrinsic hallucination is when the generated output, it cannot be verified from the prompt itself. This will be clarified with the help of some examples. So we have this tweet, uh, which I have put as a link here. And the prompt says, 
As New York State's Maverick wildlife pathologist, he pleased environmentalists but angered his bosses and corporate polluters by going beyond his mandate to expose the dangers that PCBs and other toxic chemicals also pose to humans. And this tweet has uh, its own text, but if we pass this tweet as prompt to the GPT-3 language model, we get this as the AI-generated text, and then it says that Dr. Ward Stone, uh, in pink, uh, I've highlighted here, Stone passed away in 2019 at the age of 94. That's not correct. He actually died at the age of 84 in 2023. So the reason this is categorized as intrinsic hallucination is because we have some way to verify this information. Uh, from the prompt itself and as in we have wildlife pathologist and New York State so we can know that uh, we can verify that that is Dr. Ward Stone and then since we can do that uh, we have his information as to when and where uh, at what age he died next example is extrinsic hallucination and the prompt here is Walmart reported strong sales and profits last quarter, but said that times would be tougher this year, a warning that consumers were starting to pull back as they felt the squeeze from relentlessly rising prices. So according to this prompt, the generated text is about Walmart, how it is cutting down costs by reducing the workforce and increasing automation in its distribution centers and so on. but. There is no perfect evidence on whether the company is actually taking such measures or not or if it's doing some other ways uh, to go through the tough times this year. And so this is categorized as an example of extrinsic hallucination because there is no way to verify directly from the source prompt. Coming to the detection technique, uh, as I mentioned earlier, one of the likely ways for a language model to hallucinate is because of the technique it uses to generate language, which is beam search. So if we can go into its details and find out the high entropy points and see if those are the likely positions where a model hallucinates. So this is a preliminary uh, step in the direction of detection technique. So the overall contributions of this work is proposing a new hallucination benchmark, which we call as HILD, and devising new uh, hallucination detection techniques, which can be used to detect different hallucination into the categories we have defined. Thank you.